Hello and welcome to this deep dive. Today we're going to be talking about photo editing uh, made easy with a simple tool that's within the program called Snap Edit. Uh, to use Snap Edit or to get to Snap Edit, simply place an image or clip art here on the page. Click on the clip art or the image. We're going to talk about this one today. This one looks like a, an iris. This is your snap edit. So when we click on snap edit, we get this little pop up right here. And we could do several things to this image uh, through this snap edit. So the first thing we could do is we could turn this into a plain black and white image. We could turn this into what looks like a little old timey photo. Now, in some cases, you can put like a little bit of an overlay on it, um, maybe come down to the saturation and maybe play around with the saturation just a little bit or something. Um, it doesn't, the overlay on images don't always look good, so you may want to play around with that. Um, maybe not so much with the colorization. Uh, you may have to really play around with that. Uh, but... Those are just some of the different things that these can do. Really the overlay and the colorization uh, work best with clip art. We'll show that here in just a little bit. Uh, so some of the things you can do is come over here to this uh, tab right here, mask. And then under mask, you have like smart eraser or regular eraser. Um, you have uneraser, which we'll show that here in a second. And then you have brush size. You can adjust the size of the brush. So you can go to the small little brush like right here, slide it all the way over, and you'll see this larger brush. Then we have the transparent area. Uh, right here we have either transparent or black and white, which we'll show both of them here in a second. So it could be that maybe you don't want this area right here behind the student. You want to do something a little more creative. Um, we can show you something here real quick. So let's up our brush size here real quick. And let's just get the large area taken out because we can always come back and we can fine tune this um, here. But we want to get at least a large portion of this area out. So we're going to bring our brush down just a little bit. Here we have zoom in, zoom out, and then we have reset the default size. So we can zoom in and then reset the default size if we need to. So we're going to uh, zoom in just a little bit. And we're just going to fine tune this. And I'm going to speed up the video here so that way we can, uh, we can get to the rest of the information. And you don't have to sit here and watch me do this. Okay, so now that we're done, uh, we can go ahead and hit save. Now this will save it as a copy. It will not save over the original image. The original image will be left alone. It will just save this as a, an additional copy. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And then here you can see that it has the transparency So we can always go back to the photo uh, right here, and here you will see that the original image is, you know, nothing. nothing's happened to the original image. The original image is right here. We just have a copy of it right here. So we can always go back to this original image. We want to do something different to it. Let's go back to Snap Edit. Let's go back to Mask. And here we talked about transparency, but let's talk about the, uh, black and white. All right, so using the black and white mask, uh, what we can do is we can actually put a mask on everything in the background here, right here and actually turn that into uh, a black and white image with leaving the color um, or the, the focus right here. Uh, in this photo right here, we have the focus on the student. We can leave that, the, this one in color right here and all their work. Now, if, Let's talk about the Unrace tool real, real quick before we move on. If for any reason that your uh, 
putting a mask on here and you slip and you get this right here, what you can do is we can zoom in. Then we can focus on this area right here. We can lower our brushes a little bit and we click on unerase. What unerase will do is as we are clicking and holding and then moving our mouse here, we're actually unerasing. We're removing that mask um, over this photo. And we can do that right there and see we're actually bringing this photo back to the original just by removing that mask. And then while we're here, you can always click back on erase and just kind of get that little fine tune right here. And we can kind of fine tune that image uh, just a little bit more. So when we hit save, this will save it as a copy. All right, and there we go. So here we have at the bottom, we have the transparency mask. So we can add a transparency and add something uh, decorative like this. Here we have the, in the top one, we have the black and white mask. So we could actually highlight or feature something just by putting a black and white on, on the back and leaving the focus or the feature, or in this case, the student with the sculpture, we can leave that in color and kind of focus our attention on, on that. So just one little creative uh, design right here. Now, uh, the great thing about some of the snap, edit, the features in the snap edit is you have a photo right here with a lot of blank space at the top. Um, this is where you can actually take this image, right? So we can come over here with the transparency and then with a steady hand, um, you can kind of come over and erase this top part. Move that breast uh, size up a little bit and then you take a little bit more here. Um, like I said, you, you might be able to get a little more of a steadier hand than myself here and then kind of reduce that a little bit so you, that way you can focus more on the image. Um, you don't have a lot of this uh, blank spot right here. And then we could just save it. And then here we have a little bit, a little bit less of that image. Uh, uh, like I said, take that blank spot right there and then you can always move another image right there. So this way it doesn't look, um, you know, it looks purposeful. It looks like the image was actually taken like that. Uh, it doesn't look like it was edited in any way. So just a, just a way to uh, maybe save a little bit of room right there. So let's look at our clip art right here. Here we just have one of our regular uh, clip arts. So let's say you wanted a different color and, or you just wanted uh, to look differently or or modify it just slightly. So let's look at overlay and uh, let's look at colorize. So let's click on snap edit and let's first look at overlay. So we're gonna look at overlay. Now, one thing to remember with overlay, uh, some, uh, some images or some clip art may not work with certain colors. Like if you were to choose black, all you're looking at is just a silhouette. Um, so that's one thing to take into consideration. So if you wanted it uh, a little bit darker, you may want to come over down here to the grayscale side and maybe choose a grayscale and maybe come down here to contrast and kind of change, change it up just a little bit. So there, if you wanted, um, if you had a chess team or whatever, and you wanted to do uh, one of the chess pieces in black, another chess piece in white, so this may be a little bit closer to what you would want uh, right here. And like I said, you can actually save this as a copy or click save and it will actually save it uh, onto the page. And you can always go back and get another uh, chess piece from our clip art and redo another one. You can also do a different color uh, overlays. So say you want it in this kind of a, kind of a red color right here. and the overlay you can always bring it down a little bit so maybe you don't want it as you know as so much of a red color but you want to tone it down just a little bit so you can bring it back and give it a little bit of a red hue to it 
with colorize you can colorize the whole thing and we could choose a different color here we can choose like a maybe this blue color and maybe bring it down just a little bit right here maybe make it a little bit of a, like a pewter uh, color or we can come down here to maybe this little red right here and let's bring this down just a little bit let's see what contrast we can do just a little bit of, kind of a little bit of like a brass a little brass color uh, right here maybe change the saturation just a little bit there we go so maybe we could do just a little bit of a brass color um, on there so you can always play around with the brightness contrast saturation of the color and the overlay on something like this uh, and change the color of it as you wish Now there are certain, uh, certain clip art, such as this one right here. Uh, if you bring it onto a page, you can't really see it, or you maybe it's in its certain colors, but you want it in a color that's not available. So you can always click on it. So let's, in this clip art in particular, all of them are done in white, but you want something in your own school colors or something like that. So we can click on here. We come up to snap edit. We can click on overlay and then here simply just find the color you want right here and just click on save and there you have it you have it in the in the blue that you want it resize it um, put it anywhere you want it and then you can just use it from there And there we go. So we changed this clip art uh, around just a little bit, added a text box. We can make our own little custom header here and add our book day photos down below uh, as we see fit. So finally, what we can't do is we can add a lot more creativity. So here we have our own uh, mascot photo uh, right here. And let's say we want to spruce this up a little bit. We want to add something. So let's get rid of these right here. Uh, let's bring our, our mascot photo right here. And we're going to go to Snap Edit. Now on larger images, it may take a while for it to load. Uh, so just be patient. This image in particular is a larger image. So we're just going to give it a minute. And there we go it's now loaded yes colorize will work a lot better so this was an awareness page all right and so let's do this let's come over to mask and then let's go with brush size let's go transparent and then there we go and then we're just going to zigzag We're just going to do something like that. And we're going to click on save. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to go back to our images here. And we're going to go actually go up to where our mascot image is. We're going to bring this back over. And then we're going to bring this back up top right here. And we're going to stretch it back out. All right, and then we're actually going to go up to a range here and we're going to send it to the back. So right here, we can have um, a regular image with uh, our image that we just did. So we can add a little, kind of spruce this up a little bit. Uh, here, I'm actually going to select this. I'm going to go up to group right here. And I'm actually going to click on group. So here we go without uh, losing both of them. So they're both will stay together. So this, you could do this kind of, a, like I said, like an awareness uh, event, or you can just do it uh, differently.
here we go. We're going to select all of these. We're going to group it. And so here we go with kind of a red, white, and blue. Um, so if you have a uh, an event that you need red, white, and blue, I mean, here's, here's a red, white, and blue uh, mascot or really any event that you need multiple colors. So this is more or less just uh, taking an image adding a color layer to it or colorization to it um, adding you know taking it over to the transparency maybe erasing a few things adding just a little bit here and there just layering those different colors on top of each other then once you're done you can always select them all uh, either arrange and group or come over here to the toolbar that was there and click on group and group those images together and so this is just something that you can do just to kind of add a little bit of um, creativity to it. Uh, have people think that, you know, you, you took it into uh, photo editing and, and did it, but you didn't. You did it right here in the pro inside the program um, with a simple, you know, simple tool, Snap Edit. Uh, keep in mind, though, that Snap Edit will not work with images that are grouped. So if you go to Snap Edit and it's not available, uh, please look and see if you have your images grouped. All you have to do is just ungroup it, uh, select one, and then Snap Edit comes back. But like we said, Snap Edit works with probably about 99% of our clip art. Um, for any reason you need assistance, you can always call in. We can always help out. And Thank you for viewing our tutorial. For more tutorials and videos that will help with yearbook creation, please check out our channel on YouTube, Memory Book Company Technical Support. Thanks again.